R.C. Worsting Company values our relationships with engineers and on-site septic system installers. Therefore, we've developed a number of AutoCAD product and system drawings which can help engineers bridge the gap between design and installation. These details include scaled equipment components, standard septic and dose tank sizes, drain filled products and details, as well as many more. Currently, we are offering these details in AutoCAD format to our engineering partners free of charge. But keep in mind some of the items contained therein are region specific. So let us know and we can get the correct details for your project. We've recorded a few videos here to help you use some of the features contained within the drawings available. Please find us at www.rcworst.com and subscribe to our channel. Enjoy. Hello, this is Eric with RC Worst. Uh, today we will be going over uh, the command ref edit here in AutoCAD. So uh, essentially what the ref edit command is, is that when you're using dynamic blocks, there's a lot of different um, scenarios when you're using a, uh, like such as this, um, uh, septic tank that we've been working on. There's a lot of cross lines, a lot of uh, things that we can change. Also, uh, if we were using, uh, say, the customer wanted to have different pipe sizes, different uh, configurations, no check valve, whatnot, we could do a, a ref edit command, take that off, add in whatever, uh, whatever we need for this. So essentially what the dynamic blocks are is it's referring back, there's a phys physical link, but there's a link between the dynamic block R2 in this case and the drawing that we're working on, drawing one. So uh, as we input a block, it's referring black back to this block. This block is uh, the parent, this is defining what it is on the other. So as I change this block, I can update, I can do a redefine here by right clicking and uh, that redefine will reflect any changes that I make in this document throughout all the other documents that this uh, block is in. A really useful, very powerful tool. Uh, however, sometimes, uh, say, like in this particular um, drawing, we have these cross lines that we want to take out. We don't want that change to be reflected in all the other drawings. So uh, what we do is that we physically break that link between this document and the original, the parent document. And uh, of course we do that with the ref edit command. Well, with that said, let's do a ref edit command. REF space, that's gonna give us uh, the ref edit command. It's uh, prompting us to select the reference. This will be the reference. This uh, particular window will become more useful later on as we get into uh, more advanced blocks. However, for now, yes, okay. Um, and there will be a uh, warning coming up. This is saying that it will break that link back to uh, dynamic block R2 in this case. And this is exactly what we want. That's what we're here for. So this grays out everything except for the reference that we're working on. The um, uh, Wilbert tanks in this particular case. And if you look, also, this is the same block. It's the Wilbert tank. Well, kind of. This block is actually still linked to uh, the standard Wilbert tanks. However, this one is not. This will be its own independent block from here on out. And it won't have any other ties to any other blocks, which can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. It's just, uh, it's a thing. So with that said, let's uh, start cleaning this up. We'll do a trim command. Highlight your um, your trim lines. There we go. And uh, hit space. We're good. Didn't quite catch. And what this does, it, it brings a little bit of depth to uh, to the drawing. It, makes things look nice and clean. Things won't get so muddied up and uh, when you go to print. Hit space, repeat the command, space to acknowledge the uh, trim lines and then um, escape uh, space or enter to get out. So with this here, this boot, uh, the four inch boot isn't going to be uh, what we need. So uh, we'll delete that out. Hold shift to deselect lines and delete. Even though we have this open, 
we won't be able to delete anything that's grayed out, anything outside of this block reference. So this is a quite quite a good thing. Uh, do an extended line, extend those down, and we'll save changes. This will prompt a um, a warning. Yes, we want to uh, change. So now this doesn't have the view anymore. We've broken that link, and this is the only view that this um, particular block can handle. We can take this block is no different. It's the same uh, as we had before. So now what we can do, supporting lines, we're good there. Let's put that boot in. This is a uh, press seal boot, one inch, one quarter. Line that up outside of the tank. And uh, there we have it. We're good to go. And uh, what we can do is we can further trim these lines with another ref edit command. Uh, we can change. Um, things as we go as we need as uh they're needed thank you for watching